Rolling. Five. Four. This is the Lesson sec Section 2 video. And you can see that I've pre-drawn on a sheet of trace paper four boxes. And you can also pretty easily see that all four of these boxes are projected to the left and right vanishing points. Well, what I want to do with these boxes is put a cover on them that is partially open. And let me just draw the first box here. And I'm not going to render this exercise. I just want to show you that when you take an, uh, part of the box, like the lid, and we open that up at an angle, you can see that that lid is obviously not going to project to either the left or the right vanishing point. However, we have to use a vanishing point in perspective, even if we're drawing an inclined plane. So the way that we do this is we have to use perspective and we have to use an auxiliary vanishing point to put an inclined plane into perspective. All right, the back edge of the box is right here. And this inclined plane for the box, I can see, is projecting toward me. So the front of this box lid, the front of the box lid, is going to have to be slightly bigger than the back of the box lid. It's because things, as they recede away from you, look like they converge in a perspective drawing. All right, so we have to determine auxiliary vanishing point. In this case, I'll take the angle of the box lid and project it downward to an auxiliary vanishing point directly below the left vanishing point. And I can use that auxiliary vanishing point to then draw the right side of that box lid that's opening toward me. So now you see that the lid of the box is actually in perspective. The front edge is slightly wider than the back edge. It's converging as it recedes away from the viewer. All right, let's do another box. In this case, I'll take the box that I've laid out previously below the first box. And in this case, I want to draw a lid that is projecting at this angle, where this is the leading edge of the lid, which means it would be the widest part of the lid. The back, which is projecting away from me, is going to converge as it closes in on a vanishing point. Again, I cannot use the left or right vanishing point. So if I take this drawing and project it upward, and I will project it until it reaches a point directly above the right vanishing point. Now what I can use this auxiliary vanishing point to do the other side of my open lid. And this side will be converging slightly toward the auxiliary vanishing point as it gets further away from me. Very subtle amount of convergence, but you can see it is there. All right, let's finish up these last two boxes using this same technique. In this case, I will draw the lid of the box projecting upward. Since this is the part of the lid that's closest to me, it's going to be the widest. The top part of the lid, which is going to be further away from me, will again be converging to a vanishing point. In this case, it converges to an auxiliary vanishing point above the left vanishing point. And I can draw in my uh, lid, the top of the lid, here's the estimated angle, will converge to the right vanishing point. I'll add in the uh, box, top, and complete it. 
All right, so this might be even used for the homework assignment for graphic designers. I said graphic designers are going to be doing an advertisement for a drawing board. And you can see I've turned in this inclined plane on the box to a drawing board. Very small one. I won't be able to see the third leg. It's going to be covered by the tabletop. All right, let's do the last box and complete this uh, demonstration. And again, on this box, we will project the lid forward from the back edge. And as I project that lid forward, let's just kind of estimate the angle. And it's easiest to estimate an angle. This lid, this this box lid, is projecting toward me. So the front of the lid is going to be wider than the back for perspective. Let's find the auxiliary vanishing point by taking the edge of the box, projecting it downward, finding the auxiliary vanishing point once again. And with that line defined, I can now project the rest of the lid. So it takes a little bit of thought to figure out whether the auxiliary vanishing point is below the horizon line or above and it's worthwhile taking the time to figure that out because it's going to add a lot more believability to your drawing and make it look a lot more professional. If uh, these boxes were above the horizon line, I could simply uh, use this same guide, just invert the paper.